What is going on guys, Gab Zero here and today I have a Cho'Gath guide for you and I figured that, you know, it's season 5, it's tank meta, uh, the main objective of the game is usually getting dragon and what champion excels better at that than Cho'Gath? So I figured I'd make a Cho'Gath guide for you because I've been playing him a lot and I really uh, think he is one of the strongest champions right now to carry solo queue games and his strengths are so many and his weaknesses aren't that many and I figured that there aren't that many guides or aren't that many good champion guides in general uh, on YouTube a lot of them are 30 minutes long and personally I would never watch a 30 minute long video on how to play champion uh, so this video is going to be an in-depth guide on how to play Cho'Gath, but still keeping it as short as possible. So let's just jump straight into his spells and abilities, whatever you want to call them. Carnivore is his passive, and it's a really, really strong passive, uh, good for sustaining in lane. It basically gives you health and mana every time you kill a minion. So it's really good for trading, because you can trade with uh, other uh, top laners who don't have a lot of uh, sustain, and then you can just get your health and mana back after that trade pretty easily by just farming. So he's a pretty safe pick while still being, being able to carry games. So next up we have his Q which is called Rupture and this is the ability you want to max first. Uh, you, c you could play him differently and max your W, it increases the duration of the silence as well. Uh, but I go with my Q because it's it's just really good. It does a lot of great damage. You could max your E if you want to do that, but I recommend maxing Q. That's what I'm going to do now. So it's basically a knockup, which does a lot of damage, then slows your opponent. It is kind of hard to hit though because it's a skill shot and it's easy to juke. It's predictable because uh, Cho'Gath stops and stomps the ground and then something appears in the ground. Which can be dodged, but it's but it has a pretty good range to make up for that, and the knockup um, width is pretty wide, so it's a really good ability. This leads me on to the W, which is the silence, and against an opponent like Jax, who has an escape with his Q, uh, and he can just jump out of your rupture. Uh, a good combo against that would be to use your W, the silence first, uh, so he can't do anything. Then use your Q to knock him up and proceed to do some damage with your Vorpal Spikes, which is the E that leads me into that ability. And Vorpal Spikes is a toggle ability, meaning you can turn it off and on. So it's not a passive ability. Uh, and the, what the ability basically does is that it fires out um, spikes, dealing AP damage to every uh, opponent that you are uh, attacking and to uh, opponents behind it, and that includes minions and monsters as well. So it's good that you can turn it off, um, but you want to keep it on as much as possible. But for example, if you are attacking a turret and your enemy is standing behind it, and you don't want to take any turret aggro um, because of the spikes going um, behind the turret and hitting your enemy, uh, you want to turn the turn it off for those uh, situations, but most of the time you just want to keep it on to do some extra damage. And this ability is really good for trading in top lane. And even if a champion like Jax, who can probably out trade you because he does more damage with his basic attacks than you can do with your E, uh, thanks to your passive, you can still get a lot of that health and mana back, which uh, Jax can't. And before going into the ultimate, I just want you to look at this play right here. Ramus comes in for a gank, I'm a little bit fed, and this is the powers of Cho'Gath, man. Look at how I use my Q right here to kill three minions for some extra health instead of knocking up Ramus. Uh, and that's gonna make me able to use my W a little bit later because I have more HP. I'm gonna be able to eat with my ultimate, Ramus, and Jax is gonna come. I'm gonna use my Q, W, kill him, double kill, 2v1 something that looked impossible to turn I was able to turn and Cho'Gath is so he, he's got so much su surprising damage like that a lot of people tend to underestimate him this is gold elo uh, around gold 3 I think and this gameplay and I just find Cho'Gath work really well uh, especially in this elo 
because a lot of people tend to underestimate his ultimate, which is Feast. And this ability does true damage, just like Darius' ultimate, but it's uh, a lot faster. You don't have to jump up in the air. You just click your opponent and it does, at first rank, uh, at base damage, it does around 300 damage. So over 300 damage if you have some AP at level 1. And in the end, if you build him full AP, you can get over a thousand true damage. It is so good for just deleting AD carries from the fight. And this ability also has a stacking effect. And for every minion that you kill with this ability, uh, you get a stack. Uh, and it stacks up to six times, and for every stack it gives you health permanently. Uh, except when you die, you lose half your stacks. So it's kind of like Magi Soul Stealer, but instead of giving you AP, it gives you permanent health. And for each level, you'll be getting 90, 120, and 150 health per stack. And with 6 stacks at every level, you'll be getting 540, 720, and 900. And it is worth taking note that this uh, ability resets on a half cooldown every time you uh, kill a minion with it. Um, and in Season 5, this ultimate is even better because Dragon is a really important objective in the game and it outsmites the enemy jungler at every rank. At every rank, at the first level, it does uh, over a thousand true damage. So you can teleport down to Dragon and get that Dragon every time if your team is there. You can do some fancy steals, you can steal Baron with it and it's just great for that purpose too. So while it goes on a half cooldown for killing a minion, it does not go on a half cooldown if you kill an enemy champion. Meaning that you shouldn't always use it for last hits in teamfights. It's really easy to secure kills. You can basically kill everyone with it because it's so strong and it's so easy to uh, get kills with. But you should let your team have some kills as well. And it's good to do early damage uh, before you die. Uh, so it's not worth saving for a last hit. You do get a stack, but it doesn't reset. It only resets on a half cooldown if you kill a minion. So you want to eat a lot of minions in lane. And I've noticed with this ability, you can often use your ult to uh, bait enemies by eating a minion for a stack. And then if they see that, a lot of times they forget that it, it goes on a pretty short cooldown. So you can use it in the fight next time again. So remember to eat your minions with this ability and do some sick damage in team fights. So for items on Cho'Gath, you want to start with the Doran's Ring. It works really well with your passive, regaining some more mana, uh, just like your passive for every minion that you kill. Two pots is pretty standard as well, so that's your starting items. For first back, you want to get the Catalyst the Protector because Cho'Gath is quite mana hungry and the passive on this uh, gives you some health and mana back, just like your passive. Get a boot and a ward, which is pretty obvious. For your second back, you want to get a blasting wand if you want to play offensively, if you think you can get some kills, or if you want to play defensively and you're playing against an AD opponent. Glacial Shroud is a great item that builds into Frozen Heart. It also gives you some extra mana as well as some armor. So your core build is going to look like this. Tenacity Boots, uh, Rod of Ages, and Frozen Heart, if you're playing against an AD opponent, you can rush that in lane. Uh, Relies Crystal Scepter for some health and damage as well. Spirit Visage, which uh, works well with your passive. And then Randwin's Omen for last item if you have a lot of AD opponents. You could also go for a more uh, damage dealing last item if you feel like that. You could get Rabadons or even Sinus Hourglass if you're playing against a lot of armor. Of course, you don't want to rush Frozen Heart if you're playing against Vladimir, for example. Then you could rush uh, Spirit Visage instead after Rod of Ages and uh, even Banshee's Fail. Since Cho'Gath also has very little mobility, you could also consider getting Boots of Swiftness. For summoner abilities, you want to go with Teleport. It's really good for teleporting down to Dragon and eating it with your ultimate. It's also good for teleporting to teamfights. Uh, for second summoner ability, you always want to go with Flash. It's pretty standard on most champions, but especially on Cho'Gath since he has no gap closers or escapes. So for runes and masteries. For a rune page, I'll be running uh, quite a standard AP uh, rune page with Magic Penetration Reds, Armor Yellows, uh, Magic Resist, Blues, and Flat AP Quints. 
So for the Maestries, I'll be running quite standard AP there as well, with 19 points in defense, 11 in defense, and 0 in utility. Because, I mean, what is even utility? I don't, I don't even know. So moving on to strengths and weaknesses of Cho'Gath. So here are his strengths. He's got high CC uh, with his Q and W. Uh, he's one of few champions to have true damage. He has great sustain thanks to his passive. Easy farming thanks to his E. Uh, he's got AoE damage with his Q and W, which also makes it easy to farm and push the lane. He's tanky and he's got great dragon and baron control thanks to his ultimate. So Cho'Gath's weaknesses. He's got no escapes or mobility, he relies heavily on skill shots and his Q is pretty easy to dodge and juke. He also relies on stacking his ultimate so if you kill him a lot he's not gonna have those stacks anymore. And he is a pretty slow uh, champion overall, his uh, ability animations are slow as well, but overall his weaknesses aren't that many. So before you go on to stomping people in solo queue with this champion, I just want to give you some quick but very useful tips to win the lane and eventually the game. Uh, always use your WQ combo for champions with escapes. That means that you should always use your W first because it's a silence, they can escape. Then you guarantee uh, that you hit your Q or you don't guarantee it but they won't be able to jump away if they have some gap closer. Tip number two. Always harass as much as possible and utilize your passive mana region. I see a lot of Cho'Gaths uh, that are too afraid to use their Q in lane because they think they're gonna miss it. It's quite hard to hit, but it's definitely worth uh, to use as much as possible thanks to your passive that gives you mana for every minion that you kill. So there's no reason to save that Q. Um, just harass as much as possible, which leads me to my third tip. Try to get them low half HP before level 6, by harassing of course, and when you hit uh, level 6, you get a huge power spike with your ultimate. Um, and you should pay close attention to the enemy uh, enemy's health and your true damage from your ult, and this will be over 300 true damage. So always look, you want to get your opponent to around 500 HP, and that's an easy combo to do. If you hit your Q, W, they're slowed and you're going to be able to ult. If they flash away, you flash after and just eat them. Uh, tip number four. If you're winning lane, ward and push turret hard. You got to pay close attention to the map while doing this. But if you if you got the advantage in lane, you should always push. Because a lot of people tend to overstay uh, to protect their turret. And they try to farm under their turret and it's much easier to hit your Q and W combo when they are farming under turret and defending their turret. And a lot of people overstay with around 600-500 health and then it's so easy to just flash in, do your combo. You don't even have to flash. If they don't have flash you can just walk up to them and eat them. So that is a really good tip. Don't be too... but you gotta know when to play safe. Cho'Gath is a pretty safe pick because you can farm from a distance with your Q. If you max your Q, you can stay back and farm, get your health and mana back with your passive and just let the enemy push. But if you got the advantage, don't be afraid to go full offense because it, it pays off. And if the enemy jungler ganks, you can actually often turn around ganks and make them into your favor. Uh, and get some more kills if they're playing a squishy jungler, for example, Kha'Zix or something like that and that frustrates the opponent even more. So that is gonna be it for this guide and don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. Um, good luck in solo queue with this uh, really OP champion. Uh, you shouldn't say OP but he's kind of OP. Please riot, don't nerf him. Peace!